In 2001, the anatomy lab at SDSU was remodeled to accommodate the addition of cadaver dissection into the anatomy course. Since that time, approximately 10,000 anatomy students have passed through those lab doors. I can tell you that the anatomy class is probably the most influential class I've taken in all my years of education to this point. It pushed us and prepared us for professional school unlike any other class. Taking away from my lab experience, the most important thing was understanding the complexity of the human body. That was definitely the most awe-inspiring moment of the lab experience. Not only has it helped me learn the anatomy of the human body, it's also helped me learn skills that a lot of places you may not have the opportunity to learn. It provided a foundation that allowed me to excel in dental school. Behind those doors today, you will find one of the hardest working classrooms on campus. It is used 70 plus hours per week each semester in the support of 14 sections of anatomy lab, three sections of internship, lab meetings, and dissection exercises that run late into the night. I learned so much from that anatomy lab, like I, I can't even tell you, and it's things that I'm going to be able to carry with me like as I go on. I can say this is the best experience of my college career. This is the highlight of me going to SCSU is being a part of the anatomy program. What we had at that time felt like a gift because we had a human cadaver-based anatomy course. That experience made my first year of medical school where I had to take anatomy, it made it a breeze. And getting that hands-on dissection, it really kind of reinforced my thought that I wanted to be some sort of a surgeon. Seeing it in real life on a real person is completely different and kind of really cements uh, your learning. So I feel like separating the classroom portion of it from the cadaver dissection part of it would, it would be a fabulous idea. The benefits of this arrangement are obvious, but the main reason is to improve student learning and their academic success. This expansion will allow the program to increase the number of cadavers from two to six, allowing the program to better support the specific needs of its pre-professional programs like nursing, athletic training, physical therapy, chiropractic, medicine, and pharmacy. There are three or 400 students who use that program every semester, and things get a little tight physically and time-wise as far as making best use or complete use of the anatomy experience. It would be possible to take an exceptional program just to another level with better access, better space, and that's what this project is trying to do. I would say it definitely has served its purpose over the years, but I definitely would say that it is reaching the end of its useful life. We need a lab that can help our excellent faculty and students to succeed. It's a well-respected program and I want it to stay that way for years to come. We need to improve the current human anatomy lab because we have an elite program that's being stifled by the size of our lab. We really need this. I encourage you to support this worthy project.